Alrighty, folks, time for another review. Starting strength. Basic barbell training by Mark Rubelto. <laughs> Welcome, guys, <laughs> to Corey's Confusing Book Reviews. Uh, yeah, today we are talking about a uh, one of the staple books uh, in uh, 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 Strength and Conditioning, or at least a popular book in Strength and uh, Conditioning. If you uh, uh, are not a um, interested in exercise or health and fitness and stuff, this is not the book for you. <laughs> but uh, it's good. Uh, probably don't need to buy it though. So that's that's the short and sweet of it. So let's get into it. <laughs> you guys can click away now. Uh, you impatient folks. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, so this is starting strength, uh, basic barbell training. Let's do the blurb. Starting strength has been called the best and most useful fitness books in all three editions. Starting strength, basic barbell training has sold over 500, half a million copies in the, in the competitive global market for fitness education, along with practical programming for strength and program third edition. They form a simple, logical, and practical approach to strength training. Blah, 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 has been translated into Chinese, Korean, blah, 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 blah. No other book on barbell training has ever, ever written provides the detailed instruction on every aspect of the basic barbell exercises found in this book. And while the methods of implementing barbell training detailed in this book are primarily aimed at young athletes, they have been successfully applied to everyone, young and old, male and female, fit and flabby, sick and health, uh, weak and already strong. Many people all over the world use the simple biological pr principle of stress recovery adaptation, on which this method is based to improve their performance, their appearance, and their quality of life. Starting strength is your complete guide to developing strength, the foundation of athletic performance, and the key to long-term health. It's a good book. I've done the program. I did, uh, yes, two or three months. So, for context, I do. I am not a strong man. <laughs> I <laughs> do CrossFit regardless. Uh, and that's where most of my strength cramming comes from. And I have a lot of trouble with uh, pretty much weight of any significance. <laughs> so I decided to do a specific strength training regimen uh, to try and focus specifically on strength uh, to, to, to make my, uh, my, uh, the weekly exercises uh, my week-to-week -week regular CrossFit exercise is a little bit better. So I completely subbed out. I stopped doing the CrossFit thing. So I went to the gym, but instead of doing the CrossFit stuff, I did a starting strength, uh, uh, whatever, scenario, regiment. That's the word I'm looking for. I did the regiment for, I guess, two, three months or like that. Made a ton of progress on my lifts. Uh, I would say I got... Like eighty percent of the newbie gains, uh, newbie gains that were to be had, I got. I think it's an effective program. Um, I said I don't think uh, you need specifically to do starting strength to get the results that you get from starting strength. I think most of the newbies, and if you're doing anything consistently and you're focused on strength and you're doing it consistently, and you're not doing something silly. There's you can just, there's a tons of ways to do it, but it's mostly you lift heavy three times a week. You make sure you eat enough, and you cycle through a bunch of fun functional movements, and you're gonna be okay. There's like uh, there's a there's a five by five program. There's a bunch of different programs. They all kind of all lead to the same place, especially for newbies uh, like me. Um, or anybody else who hasn't been training for years and years and years and years and is already super strong. After you get to that level, you know, you start got to, you got to tweak things, right? Uh, but if you're, you know, you've only been training for a couple of years, chances are you have a lot of newbie gains to still be had unless you were already a high level athlete, which I was not. 
and uh, I haven't been exercising for 20 years, so uh, I, had a, I, had a, I, had a, I had a ways to go. Anyway, um, I think it's a good program. I just don't think you need the book. Uh, the book goes into... Okay, so here's the thing. You can you can go on YouTube right now if you think about buying this book. Let me tell you what you go do. You go Google Starting Strength Program on YouTube and you watch a few videos and they will break down everything that you need to do for the Starting Strength Program. And you just, you just do that. Just write it down. I got a notepad. Write it down. And then just go do it for the next two or three months. Or until you plateau, until you stop seeing gains, just keep doing that. That's the program. Uh, it's very simple. It's well, I can recite it to you right now. What, the, 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 ver, the, first, the very first one is you're going to do uh, deadlifts, uh, 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 one set of five uh, uh, every day, I think. I think every day. And then you're going to do... Uh, well, you do that at the end. Uh, you do uh, a clean. Uh, what's the way you? Well, no. Yeah, you would do a press. You do a press, and you you do a clean where you just pick it up off the floor and put it up on the rack. Uh, and and then you do a bench press, and then you do deadlifts, uh, and you do squats. You do squats every day. So squats. Uh, and then, uh, at some point you'll put in coins, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm confusing everybody. It's been a while since I did it, so. If I was in the gym, everything would just click into place. I know exactly what I got to do because I'm not in the gym. That piece of the memory is not accessible. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. You walk into the gym. First thing you do, you set up your squat rack. You do your squats. You're going to do... Uh, three sets of five, uh, and you're going to use, usually every week, you're going to increase your weight by five or ten pounds because newbie gains, right? Uh, every week, uh, well, every time you come in to that exercise, you're going to be increasing by five or ten pounds. That's when you plateau is when you start filling uh, the ends of the lifts. Uh, so you'll do three sets of five. So five, five, rest a few minutes, five, rest a few minutes, five. It's your three sets. If you complete all of them, then that was a successful completion. That means the next time you do it, next time you come in for that exercise, you're going to increase the weight. If at any point you you say say you do your first five and then you do your second five and then you can only do three on the second one, well, you failed that one, so you're going to repeat it again next week at the same weight. So you do your squats and then. Uh, it alternates. Uh, on the first day, you'll do a press, and then on the next day, you'll do a, a, a bench press, and and then the next day, you'll do a press, and then you do bench press, and you're just alternating between those two different presses each day. But every day, every day that you come in, three days a week, you're going to do a squat, and you're going to do some type of press. You alternate between the two presses, and then you and that's three by five, so five, five, five. Same scaling, same bumping up the weights uh, 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 every every time you do it. Works the same way. Uh, and uh, <laughs> you guys can just Google this. but And then you do you do your, your deadlift. You, do, you just do five. It's just one, one set of five. And you're done. And it takes like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. That's even if you're getting like plenty of rest uh, in between your sets. And you're only lifting three weeks three times a week and it's very low impact you don't even really get out of breath uh you can do warm-ups uh that's another part of it adding volume what on earth i'm getting distracted anyway uh so you'll do warm-up sets so there's a little bit more volume to it so you'll increase your squat weight as you're warming up uh up to your 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 full weight so you've got you know maybe uh eight or ten reps before you actually get to your working rep. But anyway, that's the program. Um, it's in the book. You don't need the book to, to know the program, though. Um, and you don't really need to reference for anything. There are a bunch of detailed guides about how to lift. Now, here's the thing. 
it goes into tons and tons of detail like angles and like how where the barbell is and mechanics and everything like that this is boring as hell trust me there's no unless you are a unless you are into you want to study physical fitness or whatever or physiology or sports fitness or whatever this is a level of detail that you do not need this is more like it most of this book is more like a textbook than it is and it's going through this in explicit detail uh, because it's trying to teach you what you need to know to lift if you don't know how to do these lifts it teaches you how to do the lifts the thing is is i would if you don't know how to do any of these lifts i would just go get a membership at a CrossFit affiliate for a couple of months, they will teach you proper form. Most CrossFit affiliates should teach you somewhat reasonable form on all of these lifts. Uh, uh, or you could go to uh, Olympic weightlifting gym, or you can do a traditional strength training gym, someplace where the you have an actual coach that personal trainer or whatever that will teach you these lifts at least for a few months. You get it into your muscle memory, and then you don't need it. I don't have to go to CrossFit. I, I, it, it, was, it would actually be cheaper for me to just buy all my equipment and put it in my backyard. And, uh, uh, and, and because I know all the lifts. I know how to do everything. I've been doing it for years. Um, not that I'm any good, but <laughs> I know all the movements. I know how to do them all. At least I know, like, I'm terrible at my have my snatch i hate it they're like i every time i do it i'm like i'm doing it wrong but the thing is i'm just not strong enough to do it right so uh thing is is i know that because i've been doing crossfit um uh, and i would i don't even the reason why i go to my crossfit gym is, is for the socialization more than anything uh to get out of the house um so there's that aspect but it, yeah if you if you don't actually know how to do these exercises i would get with a trainer go with a don't go to your you know what is it 24 hour fitness or something they're not going to let you do this is all free weight stuff free weights full range of mo uh, motion movements this isn't working out on machines now you i you, you could do it on machine you know you could try to get fit on machines you know go for it you know that's not the style that I would recommend. Not that I'm an expert, but uh, you can go do that. But if you want to, you know, do free rate exercise or whatever, barbell training, which I think is probably the most, this is what he argues in the book, is the some of the most efficient, the cheapest, most effective training is just some barbells and dumbbells. It's really simple equipment. You don't need fancy equipment. Anyway. Uh, it's a good book. Uh, I, I should say Mark Rippleto is a bit of a... You're going to run across this if you Google it. Uh, Mark Rippleto is a bit of a controversial figure uh, um, for multiple reasons. One, he's he's a very boisterous man. He He's very opinionated. He will share his opinions. and uh, And some of those opinions aren't necessarily the most politically correct <laughs> way of putting in things and he has a different philosophy on the olympic lifting and strength training regiments now if you're not familiar with lifting nerds yes as there are lifting nerds uh it's a click uh olympic lifting has a way that they think all training should be done and if you're not doing it that very very particular way in this then you're doing it wrong and it's unsafe and you're you're killing your athletes or whatever and so there's that side of it. then you have the strength training people uh they have their own philosophy about how lifts should be done and and their dogma about how things are done properly and so they they bitch about it as well and then of course you know, I'm a CrossFitter. Everybody makes fun of CrossFitters because nothing we do is right. So, but the thing is, is we're all 
we're all working out. Uh, it's just it's just nerds arguing. Arguing. It's, that's what you need to know about this situation. The controversy around Mark Ruffalo. It's a bunch of damn nerds arguing. Okay. Yes. Jocks are nerds too. They can be nerds too. And this is what they're ner they nerd about is is Olympic lifts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah so it is a good book not a book for me I think but I do think it's a good book especially if this is the only resource that you have to learn how to lift or learn more details about lifting this is a I think this is a good book and it's a decent program like I said, it's nothing magical about this program. I don't think he even says that there's anything magical about this program. It's just a simplified, streamlined program that he that he recommends. Because um, you really only start out and you only learn four movements. Super simple. Uh, and they're all movements that are very functional. Uh, like standing up and pushing overhead and pushing forward and lifting. You know, like a... Everybody knows those movements <laughs> because we do them every day. So anyway, um, yeah, it's a good book. Uh, I don't know if I would recommend it though. You know, that's the thing. It, it's a good book for the right person uh, who's wanting to get more in depth into strength and conditioning. Probably not a great book for somebody who has access to uh, CrossFit or other similar functional fitness type facility that can teach them all of this stuff on their own. Uh, any place that has a, if you have some place where you can do open gym with free rates, uh, and especially if you can get access to someone who train you just for a couple of months or even just a couple of weeks and get you started, uh, that's all you really need. And, uh, and you just follow the program and you can read it online. But yeah, I keep wishing Washington whether you should get this book or not. <laughs> yeah. I think a review speaks for itself. Uh, it, it, the fact that I can't tell you if it's, if you should get it or not. I'm like, you should be able to tell by now if you get, if you, if you really want to nerd out on strength and conditioning, get the book. Uh, if you just want the program, you don't need to, you don't need the book. That the best way I can put it? I think so. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I will uh, see you guys on the next one.